The pituitary is composed of two distinct parts, the anterior lobe, adenohypophysis, and the posterior lobe, neurohypophysis. Both lobes release hormones, but beyond that they are really different from each other. First, the adenohypophysis. This is 80% of the pituitary. It arises from Rathke's pouch. It is a glandular organ that produces hormones, growth hormone, prolactin, ACTH, TSH, FSH, and LH. It is controlled by stimulatory and inhibitory factors released by the hypothalamus. There are three types of cells, acidophils, pink cytoplasm, basophils, blue cytoplasm, and chromophobes, poorly staining cytoplasm. You can remember which cells make up which by remembering B flat. Basophils make FSH, LH, ACTH, and TSH. Acidophils make everything else, growth hormone and prolactin. Neurohypophysis. This is 20% of the pituitary. It arises from the neuroectoderm. This is the neural organ that stores hormones made by the hypothalamus, oxytocin and ADH. To read more, see Robin's 9th edition, page 1074.